One of the most profound experiences in my educational upbringing was the Greenville County Fine Arts Center. It's the place where I was first exposed to uh, music history and music theory training that that you know allowed me to make the perfect score on those AP exams and prepare me to go to Eastman. I had her in a music history class. It was the one class I had her. And uh, every new piece of music was this um, this revealing, eye-opening experience for her. It was great fun to see someone lean forward and just soak up everything. I was at rehearsal and I saw a concert master playing that I had not seen before in New York Pops. Uh, this was during rehearsal, which turned out to be Kelly. And I was super impressed by her musicianship and if possible, even more impressed by her, her stature and leadership in the position of concertmaster. Some of my proudest moments are being featured in the New York Times as the Fiddler on the Roof, being featured in the New York Times as the New Yorker of the Year, you know, receiving um, a, an honorary doctorate from the Manhattan School of Music and having the great opportunity to give a commencement speech. Also by changing the paradigm in the classical music business by making, you know, recording a music video instead of recording a uh, regular standard CD and that attracted over a million views on YouTube. All of those visions that I had the great opportunity to realize were as a result of having the faith to just, you know, take a leap of faith and leave, you know, a more traditional path and go into the one where I get to create as my own voice, in my own voice. And of course, I think her, uh, her charity efforts, uh, especially involved with Music Kitchen, is a, um, a great example of the kind of person that she is. Uh, she has a mission to bring music to people who are less fortunate, the homeless in New York City, who can be greatly impacted by not only hearing incredible music at the level that she performs uh, at, but also to see that there are people like her who care. She once uh, performed a work of mine in New York City, which was a great thrill for me. She had an ensemble of uh, she playing violin and a cellist and a pianist, and I had to work for that combination. And the first movement uh, was about my first car, which was a heap. And the movement was called Cantankerous, uh, because that's what it was. And it included uh, a spot where the ensemble was supposed to just sort of stumble to a halt, and then everyone in the ensemble is supposed to cough. And here's this world-class violinist who threw herself almost bodily into the act of, of coughing at the correct spot in this work. Uh, you gotta love someone who is not too proud to be funny and human. I remember when we had the uh, sits probe for Sunset Boulevard, uh, I had asked her to be concertmaster for that show. Uh, the sits probe is when the cast and the orchestra all get together for, for the first time and, and run through the music. Uh, the composer, Angela Lloyd Webber, was there, and he had not met Kelly, but I could see that he was watching her intently as she performed, because she's one of those artists that you cannot, she's riveting, you cannot take your eyes off of her. And afterwards, he made a point to speak to her, to commend the orchestra, and, and to talk to her directly and thank her for her work. I look forward to so many things. I'm so passionate about my career and about classical music and following my creative voice. Um, I love the, uh, the new and unexpected places that it will lead me and that it has led me from playing bluegrass inspired classical music with Mark O'Connor to being somehow a Broadway soloist and being soloist with uh, major orchestras and playing some of the, the 400 years of violin repertoire. I look forward to just the next most fascinating creative project to develop or to collaborate um, or to embark on next. I'm really, uh, I'm very passionate about everything and, and I like to be surprised with the next greatest thing.